Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, please feel free to write me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any question regarding this this video as well as any other video that I have posted in the past. Uh, through email, I will be able to answer your question more fully and I will respond to you promptly. I have put together a seasoning mix um, called the Walk with Tak Basic Seasoning Mix uh, for stir frying. Uh, this seasoning mix is excellent for any type of stir frying dishes. And if you'd like to give it a try, I have it available on Amazon and I have the link below this video. Uh, the goal of my YouTube channel uh, is to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routines uh, for as a viable alternative to fast and processed foods. And I developed the fast cooking system, uh, which is designed to be practical, efficient, creative, and fun. Uh, so you can use this cooking system every single day in cooking the meal that you like. And the word fast is the acronym for the four attributes, which stand for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking. Uh, for this cooking system, I have chosen stir frying as the cooking method. The reason stir frying is excellent for uh, everyday cooking in the modern society is because of its versatility and also because of its speed. Because using stir fry, you can cook a dish normally in less than five to six minutes. The end result is that you can cook a number of dishes. And if you have advanced prepping, which have all the ingredients available to you, uh, you can cook a meal in less than 30 minutes that contains three to four different dishes. A wok is essential for stir frying, and the wok can be used in many different cooking functions in the kitchen. Uh, in fact, in a uh, traditional uh, Chinese restaurant, the wok usually is the only cooking utensil that they use, which allows them to make many different kinds of dishes. Uh, in a professional kitchen, a heat management is absolutely essential. Uh, even though you notice that in most videos, that professional cook use a very powerful burner. In this video, I talk about heat management in a home kitchen. But the importance about uh, the heat management is that how fast you can stir the food. And the faster you can stir, the more likely you are able to cook with efficiency. Stir frying is an amazing cooking skill with its enormous versatility. And when you cook under a high capacity burner, if the heats are properly controlled, uh, the dish can cook with exceptional speed. But the importance is that how you able to control the heat properly and to use the wok in a way that is most efficient. Uh, in this set of video, I'm going to demonstrate this amazing cook, uh, how he used the wok uh, for multiple functions. Now, in the first case, he used the wok actually as a deep fryer. The wok turned out to be an excellent uh, fryer because of its uh, round bottom. It actually do not require a whole lot of oil. Uh, this is a good demonstration of the versatility of the wok uh, with its multifunctional cooking capacity. In less than about 30 seconds, uh, the shrimp would briefly fry. Uh, the cook want to cook it to about 50% uh, done uh, because he's going to finish cooking it uh, after he make the sauce. In this case, he adds some oil uh, and then he puts the sauce that he want to make it with some hot chili pepper. And then he's going to add a little bit of uh, uh, ginger. Uh, to create a light sauce, he adds some water to it. Then he add the shrimp that he cooked earlier uh, directly into the wok. Now at this point, he turned up the, uh, his stove to its highest heat intensity. What he tried to do is to evaporate the fluids in there and to concentrate the sauce. He then turned down the heat uh, because this is the time he want to rearrange the shrimp uh, in the wok to create the presentation that he want. At this point, he do not want the heat to be too intense and evaporate the fluid more than he would like to. The next step, he garnished the shrimp with some scallions. Uh, so now he is to his final step. He turned the heat uh, high again, and at this point, he just want to evaporate as much fluid as possible. But everything is under control, even though the heat is as highest. Now he turned the heat back down. 
heat a little bit more, uh, probably cooking wine, and then he turned the heat back up again and to make sure that he create the type of uh, consistency of the fluid of the sauce that he want, and he is done. He have the dish served. And the next dish is a stir fry oyster dish, but this dish also involves multiple steps and uh, demonstrate the control of heat. The first step is he heat up some just soup stock and then he put the oyster into it. As you can see, he had the heat turned up to high. Uh, in this case, all he wants to do is to quickly blanch the oyster. And this only take again a matter of seconds. Now he removed the oyster, he's now ready to cook the next part. In this part, he first uh, saute some onions and then he put the oyster back into it and now he start to season it. As you can see that he adds some of uh, fluid to create a sauce and now everything are mixed together. He adds some uh, cooking wine and he turned the heat all the way back up. Again, uh, at this point, he want to uh, evaporate as much fluid as he would like to and he adds some cornstarch to thicken the sauce. So at this point, he can have the heat at the highest uh, without have to worry burning it. He turned the heat back down. Next, he took a, a hot plate and he turned the heat all the way up to heat up the hot plate. Now, this is a really interesting part because the next step is that uh, he put some butter onto the hot plate and he's going to break an egg directly onto the hot plate. Basically, the hot plate will fry the egg. And then he put the uh, dish that he cooked with the oysters right onto the hot plate. As you can see, by uh, able to control the heat exactly he wants, he can cook this dish again in a matter of minutes. And this dish is a stir-fry egg dish. Again, it's, it's a demonstration of how to uh, use the various heat capacity uh, to control the burner in such a way uh, that you will not burn your food ingredients. Uh, the wok burner you use in this uh, professional kitchen is a high power wok burner that it will produce up to 200,000 BTU and with such a burner uh, you can have uh, the ability to cook dish very rapidly. Now in this case again what you shown here is that he is actually doing what is the spot seasoning method that I talked about earlier. He heat up the wok until the oil start to smoke. Now with the egg it's really important that the wok is well seasoned. But as you notice that uh, the burner is actually set at a very low heat and that is important because he does not want to burn the egg. Uh, particularly he is not moving the egg or stir fry the egg very much. And in this case all he wants to do uh, is to fry the egg slowly so that the outside and the inside of the egg uh, will be cooked at about the same rate. I remember during one summer uh, when I cook in a Chinese restaurant uh, using a wok burner with a uh, high capacity like this one. Uh, the chef who taught me how to cook tell me that it is important to manage the heat properly uh, without getting food burned. Uh, in the beginning, I did not understand that. I would always have my wok burner at the high setting. I end up many of my dishes were burned and of course uh, I have to do it all over again. Uh, here is a good example that heat management is absolutely essential. A stir frying is truly an amazing cooking technique uh, because by properly managing the heat, uh, you can cook at uh, many different speeds and result in exceptional control of how you want to cook a dish. Here is a dish of, uh, uh, which is a pork that cook with uh, some uh, miso seasoning. And in here, first of all, um, the cook created a sauce. Now you notice that the sauce is much more than uh, what um, it requires. Here, the high heat capacity become a very useful tool uh, because you can evaporate the fluid very rapidly. So here he adds some more cornstarch to thicken the sauce. As you can see that uh, now the dish is almost done. He turned down the heat and this high heat capacity allow him to cook this dish literally in a matter of seconds. So now we come back to the home kitchen. Here is where I'm cooking in my kitchen. You might ask, is it possible for you to achieve the same result as uh, the ones are being done in a professional kitchen? And my answer is absolutely yes, except it will take a little bit longer and you have to make some minor modifications. 
When you use the fast cooking system, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and templates based cooking, you have the tools to create a dish with wonderful flavor. You might not be able to cook it as fast, but you're certainly able to create similar flavor, particularly to your own personal preference. The possibilities of stir frying is limitless, and in time,、uh, you will discover、uh, many different approaches that you can take. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine、uh, using the fast cooking system. If you'd like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.